What is going on guys? It is Constable Chan coming back at you with another Madden 17 video and in today's video we are doing an all Michigan Wolverine team so let's get right into it. Thanks again for the request. Whoever requested Michigan I think a couple guys did. So let's take a look at their team. In total I think I found about around 30 players that played at Michigan so we are a bit short um, of that 53 man roster needed to make a, a full NFL roster. So when I start simming, I'm sure the computer will pick up a couple players because um, there just wasn't enough Michigan players in the league. Um, but hopefully in the draft and stuff, we could uh, find a couple more guys out of this team. And I created a couple guys, as you can see here, that we will review in just a sec. So let's start at the quarterback position and work our way down. So Tom Brady, uh, first ballot hall of, hall of Famer, 97 overall. He's 39. I'm 99.9% .9 sure that he will retire at the end of the year. So when he's gone, we're pretty much hooped at the quarterback position because then we got Chad Henney and Jake Ruddick. Running backs, we have Denard Robinson, who uh, it's going to be a good segue for the video I'm coming out with tomorrow. And Fitzgerald Toussaint, Toussaint at running back. Only got found two running backs. Joe Carriage at fullback. Wide receivers, we have Desmond Howard, who I created because we are a little bit thin at that position. And uh, for my videos uh, from here on out, I might just create a couple legends that uh, played at that college. So Desmond Howard, who um, actually won the Heisman Trophy in 1991. He was a wide receiver, but uh, he was um, kind of more known as a return specialist. Returned a lot of kicks for touchdowns. Everyone knows that. Um, Heisman Posey did in the end zone. So I created him 5'10, 190. Basically, just made him a god because he had a very good collegiate career. 99 speed. And then after him, we have Devin Funches from the Panthers. Jason Avant, Junior Hemingway. I think they both played for the Chiefs at one point. And Devin Gardner. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Gardner actually played quarterback. But I'm probably wrong at that. Uh, and then we go to the tight end. Didn't have any Michigan guys. I just kept the three uh, Detroit Lion guys, uh, Ebron, Harbor, and Wright, because, I don't know, the computer would just sign probably some of these guys anyways. So we'll try to figure that out later with maybe in the draft. And then we get to the O-line, highlighted by Taylor Lewan, left tackle. He's a 90 overall now with the newest roster update. Left guard, we have Patrick Omea. He's, uh, he's decent, I would say. Uh, Graham Glaslow, he already played for the Lions, so I didn't have to trade for him. So he's a 69 rookie. Right guard, we have Michael Schofield and William Campbell. I think I got them both in free agency. Right tackle, we have Jake Long, who kind of fell off. He used to be pretty good, but now I know he's only a 71. Then we get to the defense. Brandon Graham, 93, kind of highlights this defense. Tim Jameson got him in free agency. He's a 68. Left hand, we have Frank Clark, who's an 81, 23-year-old right end, so he's good. And then we have Willie Henry. Uh, he's pretty decent, too. I think, I'm not sure where I got him. Baltimore, maybe? Uh, and then we go to the defensive tackle spot. We have Big Allen Brand, 6'6", 350 pounds. Got him from the Patriots. And then Mike Martin got him in free agency. He's 74 overall. Left the side linebacker, Lamar Woodley from Pittsburgh. Or maybe the Cardinals now. I don't even know. Middle linebacker David Harris from the Jets. And then Jake Ryan from the Packers is a 75. Good young middle linebacker. Then we get to the second player that I created, Jabril Peppers. He was a Heisman finalist this year. He's one of these linebackers that I love that are coming into the league now. They're kind of like safety type linebackers. He's six foot one, 205 pounds. So, um,. Kind of undersized, but definitely a player that could fly around the field. And he's uh, a player that one of my subscribers told me to watch out for at the early of the collegiate career, Brandon Duskowski. He said uh, he's <laughs> his favorite for the Heisman. So I started watching Michigan games, and this guy was unreal. I think he finished fourth in voting. Um, I was definitely cheering for him because, you know, quarterbacks and running backs kind of win it every year. I like to see a defensive player win it. So I created him 86 overall. Didn't make him... Uh, 99 overall, but still, he's 20 years old, 86 overall. Still a very good outside linebacker. And then Kenny Demons, 70 overall. Got him in free agency, I think. Cornerbacks, this is where it gets kind of thin. Really only a Leon Hall, the veteran. I think he's on the Giants roster now. So I picked him up. 
And then after that, couldn't find any other Michigan uh, Wolverine cornerbacks. So, Charles Woodson, the GOAT, 99 overall, created him. Gave him that number two uh, number he wore in um, in college. Very good player. Very good collegiate career and pro career. Um, unlike Desmond Howard was more of a successful college player, I would say. So Charles Woodson, 99 overall, created him because we need help at the cornerback position. Then we get to the safeties. Jordan Kovacs, think I got him in free agency. He's a 69. Strong safety, Stevie Brown. And Gerard Wilson are my strong safeties. So the safeties aren't that good. Kicker, Matt Willey. I think he was the Cardinals punter, so I just moved him to kicker. And then at punter, we have Zoltan Mesko, who I picked up in free agency. Yeah, that's just a quick look at this Michigan Wolverine for year number one. This is what uh, it's going to be looking like in year number two. Um, pretty positive Tom Brady's not going to be on this depth chart because he will retire. So I did create a couple uh, legends. Desmond Howard, 99 overall wide receiver, won the Heisman in 91. Then I got Jabril Preppers, uh, Red Outside Linebacker, he's 86. And then another Heisman Trophy winner, Charles Woodson, who won it in 1997. So uh, the team actually looks decent. I know we actually have a very good quarterback, so we might do decent. Um, uh, our O-line's not that great. I kept Ebron in the tight ends because, I don't know, we don't even have a Michigan guy. Running backs aren't that great. Besides Desmond Howard, it drops off. Well, Funches is decent. And defensively, the D-line's average. Linebacking core, I don't know, Peppers makes it look nice. Safeties aren't good. And we only have two cornerbacks with Woodson and Hall. So I'm not really sure what to expect for year number one. But I'm going to start simming, and we will pick it up with you guys in the playoffs. So we are in the playoffs now, and we missed our only opportunity, I believe, to make the playoffs because we had Tom Brady. But he will be leaving us next year, and that is going to be leaving us a big hole. So I don't think we will uh, even see the playoffs in this video. But we'll take a look at some stats and all that stuff. So Tom Brady almost had 5,000 yards passing, 43 touchdowns, and 12 interceptions. That's a very good year. Rushing, Denard Robinson had just over 1,000 yards and 11 touchdowns. Receiving, Desmond Howard, 110 catches, 1,987 yards, and 21 <laughs> touchdowns. That's unreal. Devin Funches, 658 and 7. Uh, Eric V. Braun, 74 catches for 8, uh, 857 and 8 touchdowns. Jason Avant had 71 catches for 906 and 5 touchdowns. So, very good year by my receivers. Defensive side of the ball, David Harris led the team with 141 tackles. Jabril Peppers was number 2 with 127. Tackles for loss was Brandon Graham with 10. Quarterback sacks was also Graham with 13 and a half. And interceptions was Charles Woodson with six. Jabril Preppers had two. Now taking a look at some yearly awards. Tom Brady is your MVP of the league. And coach of the year is Mike McCoy from the Chargers. And then let's go to the NFC. Tom Brady, offensive player of the year. Defensive player of the year is Pernell McPhee. Any of our guys make it here? Nope. Offensive rookie, Ezekiel Elliott. How did Desmond Howard not win that? He almost had 2,000 yards, but Ezekiel Elliott always basically wins that award. Defensive rookie, uh, Dayon Jones and Jibril Preppers with five. Charles Woodson was seven. I'm not sure about that. I think they should be higher. Best quarterback, Tom Brady. Best running back, Ezekiel Elliott. Best wide receiver, Desmond Howard. Best O-line, Zach Martin. Best D-line is DeForest Buckner. Brandon Graham was number two. Best linebacker, Alec Ogletree. Best defensive back, Richard Sherman. Charles Woodson was number three. And best kicker is Graham Gano. So it looks like we have the fifth best offense in the league, and that's going to go way down next year, and our defense really sucked. 30th in the league. I'm going to write that down and compare it to how we do in the next two years. So that's going to do it for year number one, guys. I went to midseason, did some scouting, only found two players in the entire draft that went to Michigan, and they're like low draft pick so <laughs> we're not going to be getting any help on that front to adding Michigan players to this team so uh, I'll sim the offseason do the draft and we will pick it up with you guys in year number two so here we are in year number two and this is what this Michigan team is going to look like like I said Tom Brady ended up retiring last year so we're going to be starting Ruddick at quarterback instead of Henny I know he's just younger maybe he'll develop other than that, really, the team's going to be staying the same. Jason Avant retired at a wide receiver, so Junior Hemingway is going to come in and play in the slot. 
Couldn't find a tight end. Like I said, only two players from Michigan in the entire draft. And then those players, they're both on the defensive side. One was a free safety, this lot, 68 overall. And then the other one was a D lineman, this uh, Gainther guy, 68 overall as well, um, out of Michigan. So this is what the team's looking like. I have Quan Williams. i got to swap him out for Leon Hall. But I do have backups that didn't go to Michigan because i um, got to fill some spots and stuff. But uh, for the most part, well, every all of my starters went to Michigan, but the back some of the backups did not. But that's all right. So this is what the team's looking like heading into year number two. Don't have uh, high high expectations. Uh, probably four or five wins, I would say. That's my guess, anyways. So we're gonna keep on simming to the playoffs, and we will see how this team does. And here we are in the wild card round in year number two. And we actually made the playoffs with Ruddick as our quarterback. Went nine and seven. We played the ten and six Philadelphia Eagles. Looks like uh, Jake Ruddick's got forty thousand XP to spend, so he must have did pretty good. So we'll take a look at stats and awards and that, and then uh, spend XP and see how the guys went up. So Ruddick had forty seven hundred and twenty four yards, thirty three touchdowns, nine interceptions. Rushing Denard Robinson nine sixty four, ten touchdowns. Desmond Howard led in receiving with 101 catches, 1,821 yards, 14 touchdowns. Devin Funches, 80 receptions, 750 and 2 touchdowns. Eric Ebron, 66 catches, 885 and 11 touchdowns. Junior Hemingway, 55 catches, 861 and 3 touchdowns. Defense side of the ball, Jabril Peppers led in tackles with 141 tackles for loss was Brandon Graham with 8, and quarterback sacks was also Brandon Graham with 13, and interceptions was Charles Woodson had 7, Harris had 3, Quan Williams had 3. Let's go to kick returns. Did anyone have a kick return? Desmond Howard had one kick return for a touchdown, and punt returns, nobody had a punt return for a touchdown. In yearly awards, Ben Roethlisberger MVP Coach of the Year is Sean Payton from the Saints. Then in the NFC, Dak Prescott, Offensive Player of the Year. Ruddick was number three. Defense Player of the Year, Cameron Jordan. Offensive Rookie, guy from the 49ers. We probably won't have one. Defensive Rookie, our free safety finished second on the list. Best Quarterback, Dak Prescott. Ruddick was third. Best Running Back, Devontae Freeman. Best Wide Receiver, Des Bryant. Beat out Desmond Howard. I'm not sure about that. Best O-line, Zach Martin. Best D-line, DeForest Buckner again. Best linebacker, Bobby Wagner. And best defensive back, Delvin Bro. Beat out Charles Woodson. That's he, Bro must have had a good year. And best kicker is Mason Crosby. So I'm going to spend some player XP. I'll show you who went up in overall, and then we will start our first playoff game. So after spending some player XP, I'll show you guys a couple guys that went up in overall. So uh, Ruddick, my quarterback. Went from a 65 to a 78 and has a plus 2 confidence boost, so he's an 80 overall. So that, I'm glad I started him over Chad Henney. And then Funches went from a 78 to an 80. Desmond Howard's got superstar develop, development now. It started off as a normal O-line, really stays the same. Jake Long went down, I think. Ebron went from an 84 to an 86, but you know he went to North Carolina and not Michigan. Um, defensive side of the ball, I think... I think Clark might went, um, went up by one. Jabril Peppers went from an 88 to a 90. Um, kind of a surprise here. My rookie free safety went from a 68 to an 80. Um, and that's probably about it. So um, time for the playoffs. Kind of, like I said, I was very surprised we made it. I didn't expect it. 9-7 and seven was our record. We went 8-8 eight and eight last year with Tom Brady, but we kind of have a... Uh, no-name quarterback, and we uh, made the playoffs. So I'll jump into this game against the Eagles, and we will see if we move on to the divisional. So just before halftime, it is 20-10 for my Detroit Lion team, and it's back and forth. Philly is kind of catching up, but I get a touchdown, 27-19. They get a field goal, I get another touchdown, 34-26. to Very good game here. They tie it up, and it's going to overtime. But I want to pause it, and I want to, okay, it's a defensive play. But I just wanted to try out Ruddick at quarterback here before either we win or lose. So the Eagles were unable to get a touchdown. They started overtime with the ball. So I get the ball and a chance to win this game. So I throw it, looks like that's Junior Hemingway for a gain of 12. Like 
My goal is to connect with Desmond Howard just to burn a cornerback with that speed. So let's see if they have a safety over the top. They kind of do. Oh, I fumbled it. No, Ruddick. Fletcher Cox lands on if they get the ball on my 26. Maybe I should have just kept Simmons because I uh, I just sewered my team. Uh, they got the ball and kicked a f winning field goal to win in overtime. So I uh, only completed one pass with Ruddick, but uh, it was accurate. So he's pretty good. So that's going to do it for year number two. Made the playoffs at 9-7 and seven and um, did a bit of scouting at midseason. Found a bit more players in uh, the draft, but uh, they're still not um, high like first or second rounders. So uh, I'll pick those guys up and then we will catch up with you guys in year number three. So now we are in year number three with this M Michigan Wolverines team and I was able to find five rookies in the draft which is um, more than the two from last year. The best rookie I found in the draft was a 76 overall defensive tackle I got in like the well I got him in the first round but he was projected fifth round. So I picked up two rookie wide receivers in the draft, and since I had now depth at that position, I moved Funches to tight end, so now we have uh, Michigan starters at every position because I was missing that tight end. So Funches, he has the size, he's six foot four, over 200 pounds, 86 overall um, vertical threat tight end, um, so he'll be starting over Ebron. So um, this is what the team's looking like for the final year I'm doing for this. Ruddick, um, kind of a surprise, 78 overall um, quarterback, led us to the uh, playoffs last year, kind of surprised. Desmond Howard's uh, leading the offense, 99 overall wide receiver, a couple rookies uh, backing him up. And then on the defensive side of the ball, going to change it up a little bit, got that uh, rookie defensive tackle I drafted. Uh, Going to be starting Jake Ryan over um, Harris because uh, Ryan's younger. Got a rookie Michigan outside linebacker. Jabril Preppers is a 90. Lot 80. Going to be starting Wilson over uh, Brown because he's younger as well. And Charles Woodson is highlighting this defense. 99 overall cornerback. Kicker and punter. Both Michigan players as well. So this is what the team's looking like heading into year number three. Um, made the playoffs last year, so I can't see why we can't make it this year. So my prediction is probably 9-7 and seven make the wild card. So we will see if we could do that, and we will pick it up with you guys in the playoffs. So in the playoffs in year number 3, it looks like we missed our goal of uh, at least the wild card. And we will see what our record was, and it was 8-8. Eight and eight. So, um, year 1 we went 8-8, eight and 5th eight, best offense, 30th defense. That's when we had Tom Brady, and then year 2 is when Tom Brady retired. We went 9-7 and seven with Ruddick, 14th offense, so it dropped off, and 31st defense, so our defense hasn't really been that great. And then third year, 8-8 eight and eight again, 29th offense, 23rd defense, so our defense did get a little bit better. Ruddick, 3,952 yards, 27 touchdowns, 15 picks. Denard Robinson, 980 and 7 touchdowns on the ground. Desmond Howard led the team in receiving for all three years, 92 receptions, 1,570 yards, and 7 touchdowns. Jake Ryan led with tackles with 133. Jabril Peppers had 131. Tackles for loss was uh, Gage Doyle, the rookie, with 10. Quarterback sacks, Brandon Graham led in that department three straight years with 12. And interceptions, Charles Woodson had five. Leon Hall had three. We'll take a look at some kick returns since we have some very good uh, players that could return the ball. Charles Woodson had one. Desmond Howard had one. And punt returns, Desmond Howard had three punt returns for a touchdown. Um, just like... Uh, what he would do in college. So that's going to do it for this Michigan Wolverine video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Um, keep commenting on different schools you want to see, and I'll get to them. And uh, thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.